I was on a bench making a video for a friend. I started shedding some tears. I was about 25 minutes on the bench. I started leaving, and I heard in the bush right beside me on this path that loud snapping noise, like someone hitting a log on a tree. started walking through the path. It started going through the forest, but on the far side, covering a whole lot of ground really quickly as I'm walking shortly on the path. And when I stop and go like this, it makes the noise. Because at first I thought it was a deer. It's not a deer. And no man can run through the bush that fast. So what is it? Pretty sure I know what it is. I don't think it wants to show itself to me. And the only way that is, people, is if there's like 10 of them. And then the one stood all the way down there, and then as I'm walking, all 10 of them started banging as I'm walking. And that's not the case. If I wasn't sick, having a sore back right now, I'd run right in there right towards it, because that's what I do. And I'm thinking it's people messing with me. I'd confront them right away, and I know I shouldn't. But when you're walking in the bush and people are doing this kind of stuff, you know it's some creepo watching you and looking at you. I don't know how many times I did that, like throughout all the years, man, decades. Running right up to wherever I think, like I'll ignore it, right? And then I'll just keep walking, and when I hear him close to me on the path, I'll keep ignoring it, keep walking. And then when I hear him really close, boom, I just dart right at him. And I've never found nothing every time I've done it. The one time it was koi wolves. Well, a few times it's been koi wolves, but this is different. So it took me to walk like... I didn't even walk like one minute down the path in the bush to be able to walk where I walked on the path, but how far they are in the bush and be able to keep up with me would be like a, probably like three to five minutes of a walk just to keep up with me on the path on how far they were in the bush. Now they're getting closer and closer as I walk. And I don't care, I show no fear, it has no fear over me. I rebuke it in the name of Jesus Christ, and it knows it. And I told some of you guys, but probably most of you don't believe me, but I saw a werewolf, man, it jumped right across my car windshield when I was doing 119 kilometers on cruise control on Highway 401 just outside Toronto. This is before I lived here. <laughs> I had to come up here to see all the specialists. So when I was coming up to see the, I think it was the heart specialist or the endocrinologist guy, one of them. Um, I was driving back, it was like two to four in the morning on a spot on the highway that's a long straight stretch for kilometers. I was the only car on the road. That's why I go at night, because I'm the only guy on the road. So it's, uh, that thing could see my lights coming from miles away. So it could have waited for the car to pass safely and cross the road, but it didn't. It waited till I was right there. Everything was intentional, man. It jumped the concrete barrier in the middle of the highway and landed right there on the, the passing lane, the left-hand lane. And I drive in the left-hand lane at night because deer. So if a deer comes out on the road, they're normally coming out from the soft shoulder on the right, on the right-hand lane. So I'll have time to maneuver. This thing landed like seven feet in front of me. Eight feet is giving it a little too much. <clears throat> and uh, when it landed in front of me, it was in a crouching position, like it was getting ready to jump again. And then it just stopped. It landed right there, stopped, didn't keep jumping. Remember, I'm doing 119 kilometers, okay? And this thing lands 
two feet beside the car and seven feet in front of it. Like eight feet would be too much. 10 feet would be too much. It was less than 10 feet. <coughs> and uh, I'm going instantly, I'm going, well, that's a freak. Like I knew right away, I go, that's a freaking werewolf in my mind. And then it turned its head and looked at me. And I see its big ass head looks just like a Hollywood vamp, uh, Hollywood werewolf. Exactly like it, except the head was a lot bigger and the muscles on it, it, these muscles didn't look like it fit on it at all. Like it looked like some kind of friggin' science experiment gone mad. Like truly, like that, that big ass cow that has all those muscles on it, how it doesn't look like that cow should have all, all those muscles, times that by five. And then put those muscles on a dog's body or a wolf's body. <laughs> and then the head would be like, it was three to four times larger than a wolf's head. Like it, 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 it was just like out of the movies, man. It's a bigger ass head and yellow eyes with a black slit in it. Those eyes looked in my eyes and saw God. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason I'm here. It turned its head, looked in my eyes. As soon as it looked in my eyes, it shook its head like a dog eating something it didn't like. Right after it was done shaking its head, it looked straight forward and continued its jump. Right away I thought, this thing's coming in my car window. It's coming right through the windshield. What am I gonna do? It's too late, there's nothing I can do. There, there's no time to react. It was like everything happened within a split second. But that thing did something, man. It slowed down time, paused time. And that's what I've been saying to everybody who I've told this story to, which isn't too many people, but it slowed down time. It used the Matrix, just like out of the Matrix movie. Because you could be standing on the side of the highway with a, with a gun, okay? Stand on the side of the highway with a gun stretched out and allow my car to come traveling at 119 kilometers as you're standing sideways waiting for my car to pass. And then when you're seven feet in front of my car, fire the gun. No, less than seven feet because it landed. It was seven feet ahead of me when it landed. And then it took time for it to sit there and turn its head and look at me. And I don't remember getting any closer to it. It didn't get any closer. It, my, it was like everything froze. And it wasn't because of adrenaline or fear. Like there was no time for that. This was too quick. And then after turning its head, it stretches itself all the way out. It leaps right across my windshield. And I'm thinking, I'm beat, man. This thing's coming inside my car. It's gonna eat me. And so I, I, I braced for it. I just scrunched, scrunched up my face thinking that glass is gonna come in my eye. So I closed my right eye. I kept my left eye open and turned my head to the left because I knew it was gonna come through the windshield. So I'm trying to get as far over to the side as I can. And uh, I kept that left eye open watching it and it just, like a ballerina, man. Just like it's done it all the time, no big deal. Just leapt right across my car, cleared it, no problem at all. I was on the brakes, the brake lights on that car I had at the time lit up the whole back of the, the road. It was awesome in the country because you could see a lot of stuff behind you when I put on my brakes, like for probably 20 feet. And there was nothing, man, it was nowhere. And I was like, stop, I gotta see what this is. And a voice in my head said, don't stop. And I ignored it and I was slowing down. I was gonna stop again and then I heard my name. It said, Jason, don't stop. It was God, man. It was God's voice. <clears throat> so I didn't stop. I kept going. And then it was really freaking me out as I'm driving. So I, I started singing and blocking it out of my mind and doing everything to just try and ignore what happened. And then I did. I blocked it out of my mind for a long time until I had enough, enough nerve to tell some people. Um, like, yeah, they just kind of looked at me like my freak or I was imagining things or it was... It was Something else that it wasn't, but no, I, I know exactly what it was. It was a freaking werewolf. As crazy as that sounds. Um, so now, now it's been some time. Um, I just realized this, like, uh, last month. I've been telling everything. It slowed down time. It, it uses the matrix, right? And there's other people um, that have had encounters with werewolves that had the exact same encounter as mine, but they ran beside the car and then ran in front of the car. It wasn't like they stopped, looked in their eyes and slowed down time and leaped across the windshield, but other people said the same thing, like time slowed down. 
Um, so I, I just assumed, like, this thing can control the Matrix, man. It can control time. It can slow down time or pause time or something, just like that Matrix movie. But then, like, last month, I thought, maybe it was God that did that. God slowed down the time to prevent it from coming into my windshield. Everything happens for a reason, so... Cryptozoologists that follow this stuff, I haven't contacted them. I'm not into this thing. I don't seek this crap. Um... They say the same thing, that some of these things can uh, bend time, slow time, or do whatever, right? But it just kind of hit me, like, this last month that maybe it wasn't it, it was God doing it. So maybe it was a little bit of both. And I'm sitting here on the bridge. I don't hear that stick anymore, and there's no one walking across the bridge here. And I'm smelling weed, so it probably was some guy messing around with me. I'll let you know in a couple of seconds here. I don't smell it anymore. don't smell the weed come on the bridge and I smell the weed like someone's under the bridge getting high maybe they're on the path ahead of me anyways I'm gonna end this that was pretty bizarre <laughs> peace God bless <laughs>